Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to The Big Bang Theory Season 1, Episodes 11 and 12. So I'm very excited to jump into more Big Bang Theory reactions. Been having a lot of fun with this season so far. Two things I'm really looking forward to that I hope we get more of for this season. I mean, I don't know what we're in store for, to be honest. There's 17 episodes, so not a super long season. But I would love to see another episode with Sheldon's mom because she's still my favorite side character so far that's shown that showed up in the show. I just, I love that episode so much, getting to see her. I'd love to see more of that dynamic. And then I want more of Sheldon and Penny paired up together because I just think they have so such great comedic chemistry, but I have no idea what we're in store for. Excited to find out. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on my Patreon, that's the best way to support the channel. That's also where you can watch future episodes of The Big Bang Theory if you don't want to wait. Let's just get right into it. The Big Bang Theory, Season 1, Episodes 11 and 12. <laughs> Are they playing multi-level chess? I've never seen a chessboard like this before. <laughs> Sheldon's gonna win this. He was talking trash about Leonard's chess skills earlier. Checkmate. Oh! Perhaps three-dimensional candy land would be more your speed. <laughs> dang, dang. It'd be humbling to suck on so many different levels. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see three-dimensional shoots and ladders. How was Nebraska? Better than North Dakota. <laughs> What are you doing in Nebraska? I guess that joke's only funny in Nebraska. The certainty is that that joke is not funny here. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep staring, Sheldon. Boy, it's good to be back. <laughs> home sweet home. Rip, everyone got sick over the weekend. Sick, here we go. Was it COVID? <laughs> Sheldon, dang, dang. I need you to know. Now, when did the symptoms first appear? Friday, was that morning or afternoon? All the notes are not going to save you. Mm. Think woman who blew their nose and when. <laughs> Think woman. <laughs> Doesn't have any symptoms. I'm sure she's not contagious. Uh, I don't know. A bit of a germaphobe. I understand. Thanks for your consideration. Now please leave. <laughs> Better go before he starts spraying you with Lysol. Welcome home. Here we go. Here we go. Get a mask. Get a mask for Sheldon. Petri dishes to grow throat cultures. What? Growth medium, and someone polished off the apricot yogurt. <laughs> Swab my throat. <laughs> I don't think so. Y Leonard? You can't do it yourself? You are not sick. This is... I've never been to Nebraska. I'm fairly certain that I have no corn husking antibodies. Most likely. <laughs> Comatose in a hospital relying on inferior minds to notes will give them a fighting chance. <laughs> Will they look at your notes? I don't know. <laughs> need to measure my fluid intake and output to make sure my kidneys aren't shutting down. Y you're gonna use that for anything I else? I miss pancake batter in this. Yeah, come on. Oh, that measuring cup has always been for urine. Oh, that is so disgusting. Ten seconds to make one that said urine cup. Right here on the bottom. <laughs> Pancakes, oh, oh no, <coughs> he will never forgive Penny for this ever. Oh, dear God, <laughs> Leonard, I'm sick. Is he trying to escape? Leonard? <laughs> I'm sick. What do you know? This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> If you ever need to get ready quickly, just say you're sick. Let it all be out the door. Comforter fell down and my sinuses hurt when I bend over. Oh, he needs his mob. He needs his mob for sure. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, no wonder Leonard ran. Leonard, where are you? I'm at work. <laughs> 6.30 in the morning on Sunday? Oh, shoot. I didn't hear the phone ring. They texted me. Predicted. I am sick. Fever has been tracking up exponentially since... <laughs> it has shifted from clear to milky green. Oh, I don't need to hear the details. Drink plenty of fluids. What else would I drink? Gases? Solids? Ionized plasma? <laughs> and make soup. We don't have soup. Can you get me soup? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Busted. Is that a dog? Yes. 
We're doing experiments. Training dogs to operate the centrifuge. Blind scientists, I have to go. <laughs> Just pick up his some soup for poor Sheldon. Howard, it's the phone! That's a wake-up call. The phone, Ma, I hear the phone! <laughs> Only at this ungodly hour! We try to channel his inner Norman Bates here. Why they're calling at this ungodly hour? I ask them when I'm talking to you! <laughs> We need to see more of Howard at home. It's Leonard, code Milky Green. Dear Lord, not Milky Green. Oh dang, oh dang, they know, they prepared for this. It's Leonard! Why is he calling? Emergency. Were you playing with him? God's sake, Mom, 26 years old! What do you want for breakfast? Chocolate milk and Eggos! <laughs> <laughs> That's really his breakfast? That can't be real. Howard, I'm sick. Sleeping, this is his mother! <laughs> No. I need soup. Then call your own mother. <laughs> yes, please do. Forgot the protocol we put in place after the great ear infection of 06. <laughs> of 06. My friends come over. Not the carpet, Steve. That's a negatory. A negatory. There's a Planet of the Apes marathon at the New Art today. Five movies, two hours apiece to start. <laughs> Homeless crazy guy at table 18. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Why would he show up here when he's sick? He needs soup oh, that bad. <laughs> I'm sick. Thank you very much. I'm not sick. You're a carrier. <laughs> Our sick dude. voice is You're great. You're dead. <laughs> please, please. Not at the Cheesecake Factory. I want soup. <laughs> Why didn't you just bring the <laughs> Just bring the soup of the day. You can have soup delivered. Come on, Sheldon, you didn't I think, did of, think that? of that. <laughs> you just wanted to see Patty. Bring me some soup while I still understand what a spoon is for. <laughs> Mother used to make me this split pea with homemade croutons. No. Then surprise me. <laughs> just make it hot. I would not want to be sitting next to him. Come on. Would you call that moss green or forest green? Oh. Oh. How many Planet of the Apes movies are there? This, everyone went chimp. I mean, what else do you wear? Hey, where are you? I'm, uh... At work. At work. Yes. You sound funny. Oh, uh, I'm, uh... I'm sick, too. Sheldon's at the Cheesecake Factory. Afraid he'll pass out on the bus and someone will harvest his organs. <laughs> and he's established a nest. Can you please come get him? No. I'd be happy to, Penny. <laughs> The <laughs> they have this ready to go. They have this ready to go. That's incredible. I feel really guilty. Oz off my popcorn, you damn dirty. Ape. How are you supposed to eat with those masks on? I really need to work today. It's not like I have rent or car payment. Oh, Penny's a good friend. Where are you going? Um, home. You're going to leave me? Sheldon, you are a grown man. Haven't you ever. No, he needs help. Of course, but. Not by myself. <laughs> Convince her I was sick. She said, Mock test do ein Darmspolung. What is that? What happened next? I assume it means, Would you like an enema? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You never looked at the translation? My mom used to give me sponge baths. Freddie's <laughs> <laughs> like, I am not your mom. No sponge baths and definitely no enemas. Agreed. <laughs> Those are fair terms. Damn it, my glasses. Found him. Oh, great. Do you have a spare? Yeah, at home. Uh, so much for enjoying the movie. I was just wondering, is Sheldon still at the restaurant? No. He's home, I'm screwed. Just listen to the movies. And a half hours of AP blurriness. It's like watching a 3D movie what without the glasses. <laughs> yeah, go get a quick surgery right now. And deal with Sheldon or have a stranger carve out your corneas with a laser beam? Well, when you put it like that. Well, I'm thinking. Nice Penny is so sweet to do this while she was working, right? Can you please rub this on my chest? Rub makes my hands smell funny. Sheldon! Please, 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 please. <laughs> How can you say no after that many pleases? No, no, counterclockwise are my chest hair mats. <laughs> can you sing Soft Kitty? My mom used to sing it to me when I was sick. He's such a mama's I'll boy. I'll teach you. <laughs> Kitty little ball of fur. 
I never heard this. Sleepy kitty. <laughs> now you. <laughs> no, I think I can't top that. Soft kitty. Little ball of fur. Little ball of fur. <laughs> Little anger in her voice. Oh, come on. <laughs> How do they even have this? On my dresser next to my bat signal. I'm not going in there. No way, Jose. But he can't see. He needs your help. Mini cam and Bluetooth headset. The ambulatory speed of a six Sheldon. You'll have seven seconds to get out. <laughs> Good luck on your mission. How do I carry it if I'm on my hands and knees? <laughs> this will be a sight for Petty. Now keep true. What? It means go straight. Just say go straight. <laughs> Bearings, you say keep true. Uh. I just hit my head. The, the picture's breaking up. Oh, shoot. Classic technology. Wasn't on. Then why did I have to crawl? Oh, I guess he didn't. <laughs> it was cooler that way, okay? From this point forward, you will have to crawl. Hang on. Is that the warning? Something. Turn your head back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for that warning. <laughs> you rat bastard. <laughs> the sensor would work. Hey, sweetie, good news. Oh, <laughs> now that's vengeance. I'm hungry. Wait, oh, Penny, take me with you. Find your glasses. Oh, shoot. I want grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you think Penny will come here and take care of us? Definitely not. I don't think Penny's ever coming here again. <laughs> Possibly not. I'm very congested. Get me the turkey baster labeled mucus. If I stand, I'll vomit. Under the sink, yellow Tupperware bowl. <laughs> Here's the problem with teleportation. I want to hear this. Would not have actually transported the individual, destroyed him, recreated him in another. Fair point. How about that? <laughs> Original Sheldon would have to be disintegrated in order to create a new Sheldon. And would it actually be you? Anyway, an improvement on the old Sheldon? <laughs> be exactly the same. That is a problem. <laughs> you see it too. Yes. I'd like you to meet Dennis Kim, highly sought after doctoral candidate, and we're hoping to have him do his graduate. Okay, genius. He's only 15 years old. Started graduate school at 14. Ooh. Year while my family is tunneling out of North Korea. <laughs> Best physics research facility. I already know you're not. In science, grid, computer, or a free electron laser. String theory research being dead here is nothing but a dead end. Hey, so what are you even doing here? I research, and it is by no means a dead end. You don't see it yet, but trust me, you will. You got some competition here, Sheldon. <laughs> Control yourself. To look the other way, if you want to use up to 20% of the grant money, you muggled your grandfather out of Pyongyang. <laughs> oh, wow, they really want him. I'm here, boys. Make it happen. Yes, sir. No pressure. Us, we're on it. What the hell do you mean, dead end? <laughs> Vacuums and string theory could be as large as 10 to the 500th power. I mean, of course. Look, chocolate milk. <laughs> a sense of disturbance in the force. Bad feeling I have about this. I mean, I feel like it uh, might be uh, Sheldon's new best friend. So, Dennis, how long have you been in America? A year and a half. What do you think? For your tendency to end sentences with prepositions. Ooh. What are you talking about? <laughs> that. And this is my office. It's part of the tour? Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving Leonard all alone? This is my door. Please close it behind you. Goodbye. See where it went wrong, don't you? Leonard? Another correction on your board. Think I haven't considered it? Have you considered it? Get him out, Leonard. <laughs> the youngest person ever to win it. We're the youngest person ever to win it. Looking into an obnoxious little mirror, isn't it? A little bit. <laughs> this is really delicious, isn't it? He's like, I'm not drinking. I have no idea. You can't talk to me unless you're drunk, huh? You are so damaged. <laughs> Damage too. <laughs> Not in the same way. Sure, Raj Hug Howard. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Fifteen years old. Amadeus Mozart to Tonio Salieri. God, now even you're smarter than me. <laughs> in Texas, when a cow goes dry, they don't keep feeding it. Or out and shoot her between the eyes. <laughs> dang, dang. I'm confused. Did Sheldon stop giving milk? <laughs> that was pretty good, Fetty. Someone would come along who was younger and smarter. Be an asterisk by his name because he'd be a cyborg. <laughs> a little competition. I really don't see what the big deal is. Of course you don't. You've never excelled at anything. Oh, dang, dang. That's harsh. Hey, how did he get any friends in the first place? We liked Leonard. <laughs> <laughs>
And Raj is like, yep, that's the only reason. Life's work is invalidated by a post-pubescent Asian wunderkin. <laughs> Come on. He donates his body to scientific research and he waits to die. <laughs> so almost dramatic. He waiting or do we get to shoot him between the eyes? And he's like, any volunteers? Any volunteers? I'm first in line. I've decided you're right. Career is not over. Okay. Have to find something else to focus on. Great. I'm going to collaborate with you. Not so great. <laughs> great. Exactly is it you do? Had her on about it all the time, but I've never really paid attention. I just zone it out. You use argon lasers instead of helium. It would blow up. Not very scientific. You normally work, just hunches and guesses and <laughs> I need to tell you something and I want you to listen carefully. Go away. <laughs> he needs subspace. And credit with me, your name can go first. I'm going. <laughs> like I just slides over on the chair. This is engineering, huh? I'll talk to you later. Howard looks so terrified. Old laborers execute the vision of those who think and dream. Hello, Oompa Loompas of science. Oh, dang, dang. <laughs> that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good roast. Package that's going up on the next space shuttle. Uh huh. So it's a shelf. <laughs> Oh, you don't understand during Sheldon. Yes. Go away. <laughs> You're going to hear that more than once. I didn't tell you to say that. I thought of it all by myself. Can't be a coincidence. There are no coincidences. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> How far did he get with Raj? A simple piece of software that could replace me. <laughs> Not even possible. As it turns out, yes. <laughs> no tag. <laughs> 15 year old kid is smarter and more accomplished. What happened to this boy so he was no longer a threat to Sheldon? That is dark. Hang on, are we talking about murdering Dennis Kim? Clearly. Not saying no. <laughs> <laughs> we could consider it. He's not interested in anything but physics. Biology. <laughs> Mary and my grade point average fell from a 5.0 to a 1.8. That's your origin story. No, I just wasted a lot of time thinking about what it would be like if she did. <laughs> Okay, that's the honest version. Join me. We could lick cold fusion in less than a decade. Anyone interested? Go away. <laughs> could it be me? <laughs> There's gonna be a breakthrough very soon. Asian girl with a thing for smart guys. <laughs> Why would they go to Petty? I don't understand. <laughs> I suppose she may have misunderstood us. Prospects for the Nobel Prize in physics have disappeared. Thank you very much. <laughs> Refocus my efforts and use my people skills to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Your people skills? Okay. Jerusalem in the middle of the Mexican desert. <laughs> that will solve nothing. It's like the baseball movie. You build it and they will come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Sheldon. Of course he has. The Oracle told us little Neo was the one. <laughs> Can he bend a spoon? He was Dr. Cooper. He's been under a lot of... He's nuts. <laughs> You'll get used to him. You'll get used to him. Why wouldn't the Sonora Desert make a perfectly good oh promise land? Oh my gosh. Well, uh... Wait. <laughs> Anyone else see the flaw in this plan? <laughs> You couldn't have thought of the flaw in this plan? There was another wailing wall close to taco stands and cheap prescription drugs. Would you still be able to wail at it? Sheldon, no. No. Hey, it's definitely me. <laughs> Cheerleader, student council, goes out with the jocks and look at anybody in the gifted program. After two years of begging, she does agree to go out with you. You turn with your pants off while the whole football team laughs at you. <laughs> Someone has some personal trauma. No, I have allergies. You're the one holding her head out of the toilet while she's puking. More guys were like you. Visit her one weekend and she acts like she doesn't even know you. <laughs> you guys all have issues with girls, man. Hey, so not her either. <laughs> I can't just go up and talk to her. I'll never go for the kid while she gets a peek at this. Oh my gosh. Do it your way then, to move in across the hall from Dennis so he can pathetically moon over her for months on end. Oh. That was uncalled for. You started it, dude. Wonderful occasion this is. What's gonna go wrong? Welcome, Mr. Dennis Kim. Welcome, Dennis Kim. <laughs> Sheldon, come on. Control yourself. Youngest recipient. Youngest till the cyborgs rise up. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, it's not wrong. Sheldon, it's not wrong. Introduce the man of the hour, Kim. Where'd he go? No, thanks. I'm going to the mall with Emma. The naivete has fallen prey to the inexplicable need for human contact. <laughs> My research will go on uninterrupted. Social relationships will continue to baffle and repulse me. 
Thank you. I believe you'll stay true to this pledge. Good speech. Back. Yeah, mission accomplished. Smart is the new sexy. Maybe we're too smart. So smart it's off-putting. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> wow, I almost didn't recognize him. I feel bad about what we did to him. Yeah, we really ruined his life. <laughs> Screw him, he was weak. Meanwhile, I will stay on the real path. All right, so that's The Big Bang Theory, season one, episodes 11 and 12. I feel like we got such a big focus on Sheldon in both those episodes, which I loved. I mean, I guess, I mean, let's be honest, Sheldon has a big focus in virtually every episode so far, but I feel like in particular these two even more than usual. I mean, episode 11, we got to see Sheldon when he is sick, and that was that was such an enjoyable experience. I mean, Sheldon's reaction to being sick was so extreme. I like the fact that Sheldon is a complete germaphobe, how he's just instantly in terror the second, you know, Penny mentions the fact that, you know, she was sick, her family was sick, but even more than that, I like how much of an absolute baby Sheldon turns into when he actually gets sick. I mean, it, part of me was really expecting the mom to show up, which I was like, oh, it's going to be great. She's going to be back to take care of her son because he needs to be coddled. But no, no, he ended up showing up at Penny's work, which uh, don't, don't go out in public if you're that sick, please. Could you imagine being at the Cheesecake Factory sitting across from someone blowing their nose like that? And then he shows that to the family like Sheldon. No, no. I mean, it was hilarious in the show, obviously. But I like how Leonard and everyone knew, like, how they needed to stay completely clear of Sheldon. They have, you know, the events from 06 they're remembering. I like how there's a whole protocol. They have code words. They have everything in place because they realize how extreme this this is. But I just, I really like how Penny was the one who looked after Sheldon, despite the fact that it was a pretty major inconvenience for her. And she already is not the most patient when it comes to Sheldon's antics. You know, she does get irritated, which is amusing to see. But it just shows how much of a big heart she has and how even if she's not the biggest fan of someone or they get under her skin, she still is going to look after them and help out, you know, even to the point of like singing along and helping. Like that's, that says so much of who Penny is, right? She will be angrily singing along, but she's still going to sing along to make someone feel better. And then I like the whole, you know, kind of Mission Impossible sequence where they have Leonard trying to sneak in because of course he broke his glasses so he can't enjoy the Planet of the Apes marathon. And very fittingly, he is completely busted by Penny. I I like that image of Penny just like standing over Leonard with her hands on her hips, just looking down with judgment, disapproving of his friend who abandoned his other friend. I mean, I feel like Sheldon's childhood must have been such an interesting dynamic, you know, just seeing the way he behaves in different scenarios. Because on the one hand, he's obviously a really smart person, and he must have been such like an overachiever in school and been getting a lot of attention for how intelligent he is. But then on the other hand, like he must have been babied and taken care of by his mom, right? Because he's, you know, when he reverts back to being such a child under certain circumstances. So it's just a, an interesting balance of those two things going on. And then episode 12, like I said, I think really had a focus on Sheldon as well, where he feels like he's being upstaged by another kid who he thinks is smarter and more accomplished than him. And I think that's a pretty normal feeling to have. I think no matter, you know, let's say you excel in any type of industry or just anything, like you could be an athlete, you could be smart, you could be the best at this type of job. There's always going to be that pressure of younger people who are really capable keeping you on your toes. And I think that's just something you have to accept. That's part of the competition. That's part of what keeps you sharp and keeps you good at whatever it is that you do. Um, but, but Sheldon, he just, he went from anger and pride to complete despair. He's just like, nope, this kid is better than me. I completely surrender. Time to figure out a new career path. And of course, he very quickly starts irritating all his friends and everyone trying to be like a backseat driver telling them what they're doing wrong, which of course would be extremely annoying. But I like how in that process, Sheldon is like questioning, like he's trying to put up the connection. Like, what is going on? Maybe it is me. And once again, it's like Sheldon is just totally oblivious to how he's being like socially <laughs> undesirable in these kind of moments and just how he's annoying people like it's surprising him but I like seeing Sheldon like trying to piece together the evidence to come to a conclusion so that he can fully understand what's going on and then like usual the gang has some ridiculous plan to try to 
get rid of the competition, which ends up somewhat working. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're going to see that kid in future episodes. I feel like he still is working there, right? I mean, they saw him distracted by some girl. That doesn't mean he's gone for good, like he's taken care of. I did like when they were going over plans, how they were all talking about murder and being like, you know, that is an option. I just thought that was kind of a dark joke, but I thought that was pretty funny as well. And then uh, we have a nice victorious moment for Sheldon where he gets to give a great speech. You know, Sheldon is not going to be distracted by relationships, by other human beings, by the need for human connection. That is the edge that he has perhaps over the rest of the competition. He is laser focused as long as you don't distract him with sickness or other obsessions. I feel like that could be Sheldon's weakness, you know, as we saw, like he very quickly can just fix on one other thing but I just I thought that was a pretty funny victorious moment a great little speech that Sheldon gave to wrap up the episode but yeah I had a lot of fun with both of those let me know in the comments down below too if either you if anyone if you know anyone who's like Sheldon when they get sick because I do think like on the one hand it would be a little bit annoying but it's a little bit endearing too can you imagine like a friend of yours or if you have a partner or something who's just like a helpless baby like oh I need some grilled cheese I mean come on that's a little bit sweet at the same time right I mean, maybe not so much if they're at the Cheesecake Factory and they're a stranger. But if you know them, you know, let me just put it this way. Like, have you ever had to coddle someone who's like a really kind of an overachiever and works really hard and is smart and intelligent? But then when they get sick, they be, they revert back into being a big baby. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon if you care to support the channel. It's also where you can watch future episodes of The Big Bang Theory if you don't want to wait and you'd care to support. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember... Be active, be mindful, and be a hero.